All right, I am absolutely thrilled to be here with Jim McAlpine, who is the founder of not only the New West Conference, where we are today, but also the 420 game. So there's a lot to talk about with you. We could go in so many different directions. We always have a lot of fun together. But I want to talk to you about being essentially as uh, one of the cannabis industry, industry's impresarios, <laughs> being at the nexus of what's happening here. What do you see as the biggest trend in cannabis in California, or I, nationwide? I think on both aspects it's the same answer, and I think it's professionalism. I'm seeing, I've only been in the industry for just over two years, and in the first year I saw a market increase from when I started to when, when I started New West Summit last year, it was about one year in. And over this last year, from the first New West Summit to the next, I've just seen so many companies tighten up their branding, become more... Grow up? Yeah, they've grown up. <laughs> and, and they've become mainstream. And these brands really are feeling like they fit in. Like if you walked past this event today and you didn't know what was going on, I don't think anyone would have think, unless they really read what was on, on the uh, banners, that it was a cannabis event. You didn't smell any cannabis. Uh, and it's just, it's a market increase very quickly in professionalism over the last couple years that I think is the growing trend I hope to see continue. Yeah, and I think that's a great thing. And it's, it's wonderful to be at this conference and it's bigger and better and brighter than it was last year. We've had a great time here. And another thing that I want to talk to you about that you and I have talked about before is coming out of the cannabis closet. So do you think that that is starting to happen on Moss? Where are we with the stigma of cannabis today? You know, I mean, so last night I gave an award to Dennis Perone who started the medical cannabis movement with Prop 215 in California. And it started with the uh, gay movement here, the homosexual movement and the people that had AIDS that wanted to die with dignity. And that's really where medical cannabis started. So I think uh, as we move forward to see Guys today like Dave Morin, who just announced Richard Branson, he's a friend of mine, he's a tech, you know, very, very well respected tech pioneer in the valley here. And honestly, Dave was scared for the last year to attach his name and he called me recently saying, Jim, I'm finally ready to you know, put my name on the line. And he got Richard Branson to, you know, call in and put his name on the line. So I think, you know, you're just gonna see more and more people that you wouldn't traditionally think use cannabis begin to say, I'm stepping out too and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the world that I'm a cannabis user. Yeah, so I think it's these two things, this idea of brands within the industry growing up and also people sort of growing up and being able to be comfortable in their own skin, they're also just coming to the floor. So that's awesome. I love hanging out with you. Thank I always you love so hanging out with you. Thank too. you so much for having us. Thanks for being here.